Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use WebSocket in your Spring MVC application. So here I have a basic Spring application set up with uh, one controller for home uh, web config. Nothing much, you all have seen this in my previous video with the template resolver, template engine and view resolver. So we have in it simple stuff and the root config uh, the form XML have two plugins compiler plugin war plugin the web MVC dependency and time lift for my view and finally J2E and the uh, result of it is something that's a hello world as in in the home HTML so to add WebSocket, first let's add some dependencies. The WebSocket dependency and Spring Messaging. And for converting our object, actually JSON to a Java object, I think one more dependencies. Jackson Data Bind. So let's add the class in which we are going to take our input. For example, user class. So it's not going to be much. Some constructors. and getters and setters that's it uh, now let's create the response this is just a template we don't have to use exactly this you can use any class or any other type of object of your choosing Let's add the socket config. It's going to extend the abstract web socket masses broker configurer. And it's going to implement one method which is going to be dot add endpoint and our endpoint is going to be a simple hello. So you can add as much as endpoint as you like. We're going to add override one more method, which is configure message broker. And here, let's enable simple broker. With the topic. and set application prefixes uh, in this case let's use the prefix app okay our configuration part is done except i have to add two more annotation and for enabling websocket Access broker. Okay. Next, let's add the controller. I already have the controllers and the method that's going to handle our request. Response. Response. Any method you like, doesn't matter. So User, user, return new response with parameter stream content. So let's just put hello plus 
user dot sorry get name. Okay, that's it for uh, now the annotations. First one is message mapping. And the value for this is simple hello. Next sent to you. Topics, let's say greetings. Okay, so what it's going to ha happen over here, anyone is connected uh, to our WebSocket via this URL is going to be forwarded here and anyone who is subscribed to Topic Greetings is going to be receiving whatever I'm sending over here. So I'm not going to explain what WebSocket is, the other video how it works. This is just going to be how to you know use it with your Spring framework. Okay, next. Next, let's add the view. So for our view, I'm going to use the Spring Docs WebSocket HTML5. Sorry, the guys HTML5. Because it's a long type and I don't want to type it. Okay, WebSocket. HTML. HTML. Okay, got it. Let's add it to a home HTML. All done. Now, uh, we need to add the sock.js file and storm.js. Let's Google for it. So I added the CDN over here. And this part is common with all the uh, socket application. So first you connect and then you send and just get response. So what's happening over here is when you click on the connect, it's uh, trying to connect with the hello endpoint. And when it's connected, it's uh, trying to, uh, it's subscribing to the topic greetings as we have done in our home controller. Once that is done, it's showing uh, the greeting. Okay. Uh, on disconnect, uh, on send name. These are some basic stuff uh, with WebSocket. So nothing with the nothing. It has to do with the Spring. So I'm not going to explain a whole lot about this. Uh, so yeah. Uh, finally, once you are uh, connected, you can obviously disconnect with the disconnect method. As you can see over here, pretty simple stuff. And finally, when you click, uh, you, you're going to get a page uh, where you have a button to send something. So here you are going to send uh, name. So here you're going to send name as our uh, user object. Yeah. And you'll get some results uh, if server returns. So let's for uh, you know processing uh, sake, let's uh, add a thread to you know simulate the delay let's wait for three seconds okay now let's run this up okay i forgot to add with sock.js so let's add that and then restart the server Let's inspect. So I'm trying to connect. Connection established. Now, if I write something, any name, it should return up to three seconds. Hello, Linus. And yeah, it works. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's how WebSocket you can add WebSocket functionality with your Spring MVC app application. Now, one bonus thing I want to show you guys is how you can. Uh, send response to this uh, hello so let's go to so yeah 
So anyone who is uh, subscribed to this URL, how you can send messages from any other controller method. So let's for that. Let's add another method. Add another file. Just HTML and inside a simple hello world code. And in your home controller, return the test. Before returning, I'm going to sending messages to the subscriber of topic greetings. So to do that. We need to add simple message template. Okay. Okay, this one template and and send I'm going to send to this subscribed person and the message is going to be new response with a parameter or, or whatever yeah and then I return yeah that's it so if I restart the server now, console connect. So our earlier stuff works. Get the result. Now if I create another window and go to localhost slash test. See the message comes over here. So yeah, <coughs> that's how WebSocket works. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, that's it, guys. Bye bye.